Hi kids, so in today's video, we're going to learn how to make a straw glider. We are going to do these activities using these worksheets which you can download from our website. The website link is in our video description. You can either download them and print them or you can just download them and use it, use it as a reference. When you download them, you're going to get in total six sheets. So let's go through them one by one. First sheet, identify the items in the activity kit and keep them in the order. A sheet with planes drawn. Sheet 2, things to collect. So we're going to need cello tape, scissors, A4 sheet of any color of your choice, straws, pencil and a scale. Sheet 3 is the instruction sheet. So every step is written one after the other which is going to help you make your gliders. Lastly is sheet 4. It's going to teach you how to fly the gliders and also there, has, there are a couple of questions. So guys get ready to make your gliders. So let's go to sheet 3 and we're going to follow the instructions step by step. So let's see what's step 1. Cut 3 strips of length 10 cm and width 2 cm. So guys I am going to make strips 3 strips of length 10 cm and width 2 cm. So you can see I am making my width as 2 cm and this is 10 cm. So around here I am also going to mark 2 so that the line comes straight. And this is going to be 10. We are almost. If you make two more. Uh, so I am going to continue with this line. So it's easier for you guys to cut. So just. And then let's see 10 centimeters comes up to here. Okay. Then this, if you check, it's going to be two. That's your two strips and this is the second one. The last one, sorry. You can just extend this line since we already know it's two. I'm going to cut them now. A little here and there from the line is fine, don't worry. So here are your two strips and this is the last one. Now, step 2, cut 4 strips of length 20 cm and width 2 cm. So, let's just finish up this line as our border so we can easily make our 20 cm length. So, again width 2. As we know this is already over here is still 10. So, we are going to go 10 more up. So, round about here we just roughly mark 2 cm make the line connect all the dots that you've marked and let's count this is 15 and another 5 that would round up to 20 so this is where your 20 strips so we're going to make 4 of these
So now that your stri strips are ready, let's go to step 3. Convert all the strips to rings. So what we're going to do is take each one of them, turn it into a circle and put a cello tape here. So let's get some cello tape. Just like that. So that's your one ring. So you'll do that for the rest. Now that our rings are ready, all of these, let's go to step 4. Use the sheet with planes photo. This is the one. See plane with label A. This is the one, the one, the top one. Now stick 2 cm rings and 1 cm, 1 to 20 cm ring to the straw as shown. So there are two small, that is 10 cm rings in the corner and one big 20 cm ring in the center of a straw. So we've taken our straw. Let's put them together now. Guys, so now our, one of our gliders is ready. When you make your glider, that is when you're doing step four, please make sure that you're You've kept your glider on the floor or on the table where you're working and all the rings are facing up in one direction. If you hold it in your hand and do it, one of the rings might be down, one of the rings might be facing up and we don't want our gliders to be up and down. So please make sure that you've kept your straw on the table and then you're working on it. Okay, now that your one glider is done, let's see what is the next step. Step 5. Now make the other planes by using the sheet with planes photo which is this one and make the planes with label B and C. So let's finish making our second one and the third one. In the label B, the plane has two rings, both are of 20 centimeters and they're both connected at the end of the straw. And for the plane with label C, it's a straw with two rings, one small, 10 centimeter, one big, 20 centimeter, sorry, and they're both at the corners of the straw. So let's make them. So guys, let's go to our last sheet, which is sheet four. This tells you how to fly your gliders. So, and there are a couple of questions. We'll come to that after we do the activity. So, now hold the straw from the middle, aim it straight and throw it with very little force. So let's try it. Uh, so we're going to try this one first and this is my starting line so I'm not going to go ahead of that. So as I was saying, hold the straw from the middle, aim it straight and don't put too much force. So let's try. Let's try the other one. Now let's try the third one. So here I'm going to be pointing uh, the big uh, ring in front and I'm going to try using it. Let's do that again with a smaller ring in front. So guys, Fly your gliders, all of them, and see what happens. See which one goes the most far. See which one goes straight. And try it in all direction, keeping a smaller ring in front, the bigger ring in front. So, and try to answer these questions. So for us today, the first question is, which plane went far compared to the others? So when we are flying all the three planes, we observe that this one, when I flew with a smaller ring in front, went very far. So that's the correct answer. Second, which plane flew straight uh, out of the three that we have? So again, as we observe, this was the plane which went straight the direction that we aimed at.
We really hope that you loved the activity. If you want more of these STEM activities, please let us know on our website www.thesparkclub.in. Thank you.